Well, our first win of the United States Tour comes in the last game. Obviously, we've got another preseason game against Bayern Munich. But yeah, I'm going to keep this uh, short and sweet. A really good performance from United, particularly in the first 45. After that, it seems as though we're just trying to, you know, maintain fitness, trying not to get injured. We kind of sat back and uh, just defended against Real Madrid in the last 45, trying not to get players injured. But the first 45 went for it, and uh, Alexis Sanchez was superb. This preseason is showing me that I think I'm going to be right when it comes to the, the next season. A lot of uh, our fans in particular had given up on him towards the back end of last season, even though he only arrived in January. And I said, next season, you know, he's going to kill it. So do, I'm, obviously, I'm not the only one. Plenty of people said that as well, but I genuinely believe it. And uh, this tour is proving, well, it, I mean, it's a preseason tour, but basically, I think I'm going to be right when Alexis Sanchez is going to really kill it next season for Manchester United. And we need that. And I really hope we play him up front alongside Lukaku, because those two can complement uh, each other fantastically well. But the first goal, really, really well worked goal. Darmian of all people with a, a sublime cross and Sanchez with a nice first time finish. Four players around him uh, in various positions for Real Madrid and yeah, we scored. And then around 10 minutes later, fantastic play. Um, I think it's Mata finds a great ball to uh, Sanchez and he, he does a really, really clever little header backwards for Herrera to slot it in with a nice first time finish. Uh, Real Madrid's goal was a brilliant cross from Hernandez and uh, Benzema being the poacher that he is, tapped it in. Uh, if Bailly hadn't been hitting in his midriff around five minutes earlier, maybe he wouldn't have been moving as gingerly as he was. Might have got uh, blocked up, but yeah, that was pretty much it. I know Real Madrid played a lot of their reserves in this game. Obviously, Bale and Benzema started in the first half, and then after 70 minutes, they brought on Asensio, Isco, Nacho, and Cruz. But apart from that, they had a, a reserve squad. Obviously, their new signing, uh, Vinicius, I think is how you say it, uh, the 40 million Brazilian. Um, was playing Odegaard, you know, that 16-year-old wonder kid that no one's ever heard of for the last four years. Um, <laughs> since he's moved from uh, to Real Madrid, he uh, came on in the second half and a few other youth players here and there. But, yeah, obviously, I mean, you're not playing a full-strength Real Madrid team. But, again, I'm just happy there's no fitness. A, a lot more first-team players started in this game. Fred's debut, he looked pretty solid. Uh, nothing too phenomenal. But he, he looked solid, and I look forward to seeing more of him as the season progresses. David De Gea played his first game in the tour. Looked solid, didn't really have too much to do. A couple of offside uh, shots that he saved well, but, I mean, they were offside anyway, so if they went in, it wouldn't have mattered. Nothing he could do about the Benzema goal. Um, and, yeah, all in all, pretty good performance. Certainly our best, 100%. Uh, Milan would have been the second best, and then the other performances, not great, let's be honest, um, in the tour. So... It's been a pretty shit tour, if I'm honest. Uh, kind of to be expected straight after a World Cup. You know, you don't see a lot of your biggest players. You don't. Wait, we haven't seen any of our signings really until the last two games. We, we've got to see 110 minutes of outfield signings. That's Fred's minutes. That's about no, actually, just 90 because he got subbed off at about 70 and he came on for 50. So yeah, less than 90 minutes of outfield signings. Obviously, we saw Lee Grant a bit, but yeah. Window, eight days left. We definitely need that centre-back and right wing. I really hope we get it wrapped up. Um, there's conflicting reports. There's a lot of negativity around uh, the press, but a couple of positive articles saying that the, the Glazers are ready to back Mourinho in the final days, that his comments in the press have worked, and a couple of positive um, articles as well, kind of realising that maybe, you know, Mourinho's demeanour in press conferences being all this negative and everything is purely there for the board, whereas when he's in training, all the pictures, he looks he looks really happy, to be fair. Um, and yeah, the players seem to be in good spirits. So yeah, let's uh, let's take this one more preseason friendly in Munich against Bayern Munich and then bring on Leicester, the Premier League. Who knows? Who knows? Pointless being uh, pessimistic. Might as well be optimistic. Let's go.